Breaking news today, a man rammed his vehicle into the Capitol building barricades, hitting two police officers. Then he exited his vehicle, wielding a knife, approached the officers, was shot, and then later died. Also, one of the police officers that was struck also succumbed to his injuries as well. News of this situation started spreading online after a video of a helicopter landing at the Capitol building went viral on Twitter, getting over 2 million views. After this video got a lot of attention online, people began to speculate as to what exactly happened and who was it that did this. One Twitter user says, without having the slightest clue about the security incident at the Capitol, I'm gonna go ahead and call white nationalist terrorism on this one. Another user says, a radical jihadist attacked the US Capitol today and killed a police officer. A huge debate around, is it a white guy? Is it a black guy? Who did what? Why did this happen? Sparked online until we finally did get some details. A video came out showing the suspect on a gurney being moved from the situation over to an ambulance. As you can see in the video, the race is definitely determined and Personally, I don't think race really matters in this situation, but to so many people online, it definitely does. The man's name is Noah Green. He's 25 years old from Indiana, and he's part of a religious group called the Nation of Islam. I do know that a lot of people are going to 100% be focusing on his religion as what the motive is 100% going to be to them. But in reality, we just don't actually know. It could be anything. This guy could have just went nuts. Who knows? People quickly found his social media, started digging through it and taking screenshots before it was all immediately taken down. But we did get some screenshots of th some things that he was saying before this attack happened. In one post, it says, peace, friends, family, enemies, and the like. I wanted to give everyone an update as promised. To be honest, these past few years have been tough and these past few months have been tougher. I have been tried with some of the biggest unimaginable tests in my life. I'm currently now unemployed after I left my job, partly due to afflictions, but ultimately in search of a spiritual journey. I haven't had much to lean on the past few months. I've been faced with fear, hunger, loss of wealth, and diminution of fruit. My faith is one of the only things that has been able to carry me through these times, and my faith is centered on the belief of the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan as Jesus the Messiah, the final divine reminder in our midst. The post goes on. Uh, I don't really understand what he's trying to say here. It's a lengthy post. I'm going to show the whole thing for you guys to look at it if you really want to. But from what I can gather, this person is having a hard time in life and began to become mentally ill and then combined his mental illness with joining a super religious community. But I don't have all the information just yet. We have to wait and see if we can find anything out about motive. He did pass away, so we won't be able to question him or get any answers. We're just going to have to look at things as they release. One of the police officers that was attacked did succumb to his wounds. He is named as Officer William Evans. Shortly after the attack, the National Guard was called in once again to the Capitol to stand guard and do their thing. Then President Biden released a statement. Jill and I were heartbroken to learn of the violent attacks at the security checkpoint on the U.S. Capitol grounds, which killed Officer William Evans of the U.S. Capitol Police and left a fellow officer fighting for his life. We send our heartfelt condolences to Officer Evans' family and everyone grieving his loss. We know what a difficult time this has been for the Capitol, everyone who works there and who protects it. I have been receiving ongoing briefings from my Homeland Security Advisor and will be getting further updates as the investigation proceeds. That's all the information that we have on this situation so far. If I get any more updates, I'm going to be releasing information on Twitter. Make sure you follow me there. I am Papastanimus on Twitter. Also, subscribe to the channel so you can get updates on news like this and other things. Like the video and drop a comment down below with what you think about this situation and I will see you guys next time.